Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lecture on uniform acceleration. In the previous lecture we have seen the basics of rectilinear motion and uniform acceleration. In this video I am going to teach you three simple problems on uniform acceleration. As we have seen in the previous lecture, uniform acceleration means the acceleration is uniform throughout the distance. So we have three equations of motion to calculate the velocity, acceleration and displacement of a particle moving with uniform acceleration. The first one is B is equal to U plus AT. The second equation is S is equal to UT plus half AT square. And the third equation is V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. Okay. So here the u is the initial velocity. If a particle is moving from a point A to B, at point A the particle has an initial velocity. So that is u. At point B the particle has a final velocity. So that is b. So in between this to increase the velocity from u to v a constant acceleration a is applied. So the a is constant throughout the distance. And the next is time. So from here to here to cover this distance the particle takes a time t. And the displacement is the distance between point b and point a. So we have to use these three equations to calculate the displacement acceleration and velocity based on the known and unknown variables. For example, if in a problem the v, a and t is given, we have to find out the value of u. So you can see the equations v, a and t is given. So v, a and t is given. So you can use the equation number 1 to find out the value of u. Suppose in a problem if v, u and a is given and you have to find out the value of Yes, you can see that so v, u and a is given. So if you use the equation number 1, we cannot calculate the value of yes. But if you use the second equation, we know the value of u, but we don't know the value of t. So two unknowns are there. But if you use the equation number 3, we know the value of v, u and a and we can calculate the value of yes. So you have to use the equation number 3. So in the similar way, in the problems, you have to select the equations accordingly to calculate the velocity, acceleration and displacement. Okay. So the first problem, an aeroplane while taking off moves with a constant acceleration over a runway of 400 meter in 8 seconds. So we'll write the given data first. So while take off, the aeroplane starts from rest. So the initial velocity is equal to 0. So that is very important. The initial velocity is 0 if the uh, particle starts from rest position. The distance S is equal to 400 meter and the time T is equal to 8 seconds. Determine the velocity with which it takes off. So we have to find out the final velocity and the acceleration. Okay, so now you can uh, select the equations. We have the value u, s and t and we have to calculate v and a. So if you use the first equation, we have u, we have s and t. If you use the first equation, then two unknown values are there. If you use the third equation, we have u and s we have two unknown values that is a and the v. But if you use the second equation, we have s, we have u and we have the value of t. You can calculate the value of a. So first I am going to use the equation number 2 that is s is equal to ut plus half at square. Okay. So you have to select the equation accordingly. So in this equation, we know the value for u. So let us substitute that starting from s. s is 400. Then u is 0 plus half at square 
so half a is the unknown value and t is 8 second so by solving this equation you can get the a is equal to 12.5 meter per second square okay so now we have the value for u s t and a so we have u s t and a now you go to the equations we have to calculate the value of b you can uh, select the first equation we know the value for u a and t so we can use the equation number one so v is equal to u plus a t so in this equation v is the only unknown value u we know it is given us zero a we have calculated it is 12.5 into t is given 8 seconds so the v that is final velocity is equal to 100 meter per second so like this you have to select the equations accordingly so in the first case we know the value for u s and t okay so in the equation in the second equation if you substitute u s and t then a is the only unknown value we can calculate the value of a so after calculating the value of a then if you use the equation number one we know the value for u a and t and v is the only unknown value so likewise you can select uh, the equations accordingly to solve the problems the second problem an electric train starting from rest attains a maximum speed of 100 km per hour in 20 seconds determine its acceleration assuming it to be uniform the number two distance covered during this time period and number three its velocity after 15 seconds starting from the rest so let us write the given data first so here the electric strain starts from rest so the initial velocity is zero then in a, it attains a maximum speed of 100 km per hour that is the final velocity so v is equal to 100 km per hour so we have to substitute the value of p in meter per second so you just convert the kilometer per hour into meter per second so 100 into 1000 to convert the kilometer into meter and divided by 3600 to convert the hour into seconds so you will get 27.78 meter per second okay then the time is given so t is equal to 20 seconds so first we have to find out to find number one is the acceleration a we have to calculate and number two is the distance covered that is yes and the third equation third uh, unknown is its velocity after 15 seconds so here the time is changed so initially it is 20 second now it is 15 second if the velocity is 15 second what will be the final velocity so here in the problem it is clearly mentioned that at 20 second the velocity is 100 km per hour if the t is 15 second then what will be the final velocity so it is not 100 km per hour the time is reduced so automatically the velocity is also getting reduced so what will be the final velocity if t is equal to 15 second okay so now we'll start from the first one so a is the unknown value we have u v and t so let us go to the equations we have u v and t see the first equation you have u b and t so if you use the first equation then a is the only unknown value so we can use the first equation that is v is equal to u plus a t so v is given it is 27.78 is equal to u is 0 and the acceleration is the unknown value a into t is 20 seconds so if you solve this equation you will get a is equal to 1.389 meter per second square fine 
then the second one it is yes so now we know u v t and a we have to calculate the value of yes okay so go to the equations take the second equation we have u t and a so yes is the only unknown value in the second equation so we can use the second equation that is yes is equal to u t plus half a t square so that is equal to the value of u is 0 so plus half a is we have calculated it is 1.389 into the t is 15 so if you solve this you will get s is equal to 277.8 meter okay then the third one so here the t is changed but the particle starts from rest only so u is equal to 0 and we know that in the case of uniform acceleration the acceleration is going to be equal throughout the distance so a is again the same 1.389 meter per second and t is 15 second we have to calculate the value of v so we have u a and t we have to calculate the v so if you use the first equation v is equal to u plus a t v is the only unknown value so you can write u is 0 a is 1.389 into t is 15 seconds so you will get v is equal to 20.835 meter per second so you can convert this uh, final velocity into kilometer per hour into 3600 divided by 1000 that is equal to 75 kilometer per hour okay so we have calculated the acceleration the distance and the velocity after 15 seconds now the third problem a motor moving with uniform acceleration covers a distance of 20 meter in 4 seconds and 40 meter in 6 seconds find the uniform acceleration of the motor okay so let us write the given data the distance is 20 meter when the t is equal to 4 seconds and the distance is 40 meter when the t is equal to 6 seconds so the same motor covers 20 meter when the time is 4 second and 40 meter when the time is 6 second so by using the two relations you can calculate the acceleration so let us calculate that so we have s yes and t we have to calculate the value of acceleration so go to the equations so in this we have the first equation v is equal to u plus a t we don't know the value for v u and a so we cannot use that the second equation is s is equal to u t plus half a t square we know the value for s and t so the two unknown values are u and a so two cases are given so if you substitute the values then you will get two equations so we can use the second equation that is s is equal to u t plus half a t square so first we will substitute this condition so that is s is equal to 20 u into t is 4 plus half a into 4 square then substitute the second condition so s is 40 40 is equal to u into 6 plus half into a into 6 square so this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 so two equations and two unknown values 
If you solve these two equations, then you will get u and a. So the calculated u value is 1.667 meter per second and the acceleration is 1.667 meter per second square. So if two conditions are given in your equations, you may have two unknown values so that you will get two equations and by solving that two equations, you will get the value. Thank you.